Yeah, I mean, look, I think so. Number 10 seemed to have a kind of strange kamikaze blaze everything as you try to get to an outcome sort of approach, but I think is really, really strange. I think at the end of this, you know, whatever happens, whether we leave or not, you've got to govern the country. Whatever happens, you've got to have a parliament that works that the country is behind. You've got to have a judiciary that works that the country is behind. And what worries me in all of this is that we are sort of attacking and undermining. You know, you talk about people versus the parliament. That's really dangerous because in the end, we are a parliamentary democracy and we run as a parliamentary democracy. The executive gets his authority and legitimacy from parliament. If you undermine that, in five years' time, when we're trying to run a country, Country that can address all the issues that people, you're right, care about. Housing, living standards, the stuff that matters. It makes it really hard. The point of Brexit was absolutely to try and gain sovereignty. And parliamentary sovereignty is a key part of that. You raise that, you trash that, you fundamentally undermine the thing that you're fighting for through Brexit. Well, final thoughts on this before we move on. Miata? It's very bizarre. <laughs> it's such a bizarre <laughs> position. Um, it, it sort of makes no sense. And I, I know it just feels it's, it, it's a very childish form of politics. You know, just be clear. You know, if we're leaving, we're leaving. If you're going to try and really? find a way of I'm getting around the, the Ben Act, then say you're going to get... But just be clear, the sort of... this weird contradiction oh, is bales. it's weird it's puzzling it's irritating and actually it doesn't progress the debate in any it. particular <laughs> way <laughs> 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 <laughs>